Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we're going to be taking a look on how to install and run Corebot. Corebot is a multi-purpose bot that you can use for your Discord servers. It can come in useful if you're just creating a server for fun, for your community, even if you have a small business. Most cases, it's also used for Minecraft servers. But to get started, firstly, I highly recommend whenever you are purchasing the bot, that you selected the proper language for the bot, which is Node.js, in order for Corebot to successfully boot up. So whenever you are purchasing, just ensure you selected this one and you can click continue. However, if you didn't, you can open a ticket with us and we can switch it over for you in an instant. But now that you got that, we're actually gonna go into Corebot's page and we're going to download the required files. For this video, I will be using 4.5.3, which is the latest as the time of recording. And after you got the files, we're gonna go back into our panel, go into file manager, and here we can drag and drop the zip we just downloaded. After that, we can right click it, click on archive, and here you will see all the files that is required to run Corebot. You can select the zip and delete it as it's not gonna be needed anymore. Next, we can go into the configs, and here you'll find config.yml. This is where we're gonna need to input two important information, the key and the bot token. For the bot key, you do need to go into Corebot's support Discord server in order to receive it. Revive Node cannot provide you that. And second thing is I highly recommend you do not try to use the key that I'm providing on screen. This is a tutorial key. And after this recording, it is going to be permanently deleted. So it will not work. Please do not try using this key. Secondly, we will need your bot token key. And to get that, you will have to go into the developers page and here we can create a new application or bot. We can name this whatever we want. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna call it Revive Bot. I'm gonna go ahead and click, I agree with the terms of service and policies. I can click create, and here we can upload an image, we can set the name, and we have the application ID. This will come in useful just in a bit. But what's most important, we're gonna go into bot, we're gonna click add bot, yes, do it. Then we're gonna go ahead and reset token, click yes, do it, and then just copy the entire token that's provided on screen. Yours will be different. And again, please do not try using the token as after this video, it will be deleted and will not work properly for your own bot. All the links I'm using, I will be providing in description down below. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and click save content, but we are not done. We can go back into console for now and we're going back into our developer page. Here we need to make sure under privileged gateway intents, we need to check the boxes. Go ahead and click save changes. And now what we can do is go back to general information, copy the application ID. And again, in the description down below, I will, I will be providing a link. This link is to invite your Discord bot properly. It will look like this and have client one, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight. And here we're actually going to delete one through eight as it's not required, it's just a placeholder. And we're going to paste the application ID. Then we can copy it and paste it into our web browser and click enter. As you can see, our bot did show up and here we can select a server where we want to invite it to. You can only invite bots which you have administration permissions in within the server. After that, you can authorize, make sure to check I'm not human, and just like that, it's done. We can go back into our server and here you can see Revive Bot joined a party. And the bot is currently offline, which is as expected. Next thing we can do is go back into our bot and we're going to go into startup and ensure that we are running Node.js 16. By default, you should be running 12 if you just purchased this bot, but you can just change it to 16 as Corebot requires Node.js 16 to properly boot up. We can go back into console and we can click start. Give it some time and allow all the files necessary and modules to be created for the bot. And just like that, our bot has successfully booted up and it's online. The rest is truly up to you and how you set it up and all the configuration. If you have any questions regarding that, please join Corebot's Discord support as Revive does not provide the support for actually different configuration types or errors that Corebot may appear. However, if you still want to set up MySQL with the bot, we can go ahead and just stop the server, go into open a new database tab, and we're going to go into the file manager at the same time. We're going to go into configs, go into config.yml, and here you can see storage type. We're going to change that to MySQL, and we need to input all the correct information. Let's go into database, create new database. We'll call this Corebot. The name again does not matter. We're going to go ahead and click the I. We're going to copy the direct IP, which is going to be the host, and we're going to set it as sql1.revivenode.com, and the port will be 3306. Next thing we're going to do is the username. So we can go into the tab, just click on the text and I will copy it and we can just paste it in the center. Next, after that, we're going to go ahead and copy the, copy the password, paste in the password, and then we just need the database name, which will be directly on the database tab. So we can copy that, paste it in, and click save content. You may get an error when starting it up for the first time, but the error is easy to fix. In order to fix an error which will appear a bunch of errors on your screen, 
However, in my case, I did not get any errors as I have all the modules set up perfectly. But in case you do get it, it is easy to fix. All you need to do is click on startup. And here you need to input additional node packages and type in better dash SQ light three altogether. And then you can just click out of the box and then you can click enter and it'll just update it for you. Next thing we'll do is go into file manager, go into node modules and delete the folder. So it can create new modules correctly for the server. We can stop the server and we can boot it back up. But this is only in case you get a ton of errors on first boot up. And just like that, our bot is now working successfully. Hopefully this video was informative for you to start your very first Discord bot. Other than that, if you like any other type of content, please let us know in the description down below. We'd like to thank you for using Revive Node and we hope you have an amazing day.